The skin is our first line of defense to the outside world, and life on Earth would simply not be possible without it. It has unique properties that allow us to live here. It is estimated the average human has one trillion bacteria inhabiting their epidermis and hair follicles at any given moment, enough to fill a large soup can. The density of skin flora depends on the region of the skin. Although the lifetime of an individual bacterium in the human superorganism may be short, since millions are shed each day, the colonies survive a longer time by cloning themselves briskly to replace members that are sacrificed. This tormented landscape is naturally acidic at around pH 4 to 4.5 as a result of lactic acid produced in sweat by skin microorganisms and as its name suggests is acidic by nature. The acid mantle inhabits the growth of foreign bacteria and fungi keeping the skin healthier with fewer blemishes. Acne, allergies and other skin problems become more severe as the skin becomes more alkaline. In mildly acidic skin environments, mutualistic flora such as Staphylococci, Micrococci, Corneobacterium and Propionibacteria flourish well, feeding on dead skin and sebum cell debris and prevent other desirable bacteria from developing, therefore playing a fundamental role as cleaners. Transient bacteria, however, like Escherichia, Pseudomonas, Staphylococcus aureus, or Candida albicans will not grow or thrive. When under attack, good skin microfloras defend their territory through nutrient competition, chemical secretion, and by promoting the skin's immune system to respond. Skin demonstrating a healthy barrier will generally have less skin disorders, and in the absence of UV damage, will show a lesser rate of wrinkling than those with a disrupted barrier that is also alkaline. Common skin disorders such as dry skin, psoriasis, atopic dermatitis, acne and rosacea are all related to skin barrier dysfunction. Skin barrier dysfunction allows epicutaneous penetration of allergens, leading to increased skin infections and inflammatory responses which continue to drive the allergic process. In conclusion, if the barrier function stays intact, then skin will look healthier. This concept could be useful for the prevention and treatment of skin disorders associated by an impaired barrier.